that's episode five, but as weapons. They're afraid, but fear isn't surrender. First stone flies, misses. The porcupine charges. The band scatters, then reforms. One prods with stick. Porcupine turns. Another throws strikes true. Again, again. They're learning in real time, communicating without language. This is what separates them from every other animal. Finally, the porcupine retreats, injured but alive. The band enters. No celebration, no howling, just collapse. Survival isn't triumph, it's enough. Inside, storm becomes distant, just breathing, synchronized, bodies sharing warmth. One male has quills in his arm, another extracts them. The mother grooms her child, the one who nearly died this morning. He's calm now, safe. The elder examines their termite fishing stick salvaged from the grove. Then, watch carefully, he places it in a dry crevice in the rock. Not hiding, storing. Memory becoming place. Place becoming territory. An animal hides but a thinking creature claims. Outside, the storm clears. Inside, they're doing something revolutionary. Deciding this place is ours.